Okay, this is how you uh, set your text in column with Writer. All you have to do is select the text you want to format in columns. Go to Format on your top menu and select Columns. This window comes up and you select the number of column you want either by selecting the icons here or selecting a number over here. Uh, it's also important to put space between the columns so that you can actually tell the difference between them. I'll go with point two here and OK. And voila, I have three nice columns. Now if you want to select the width of your column, all you have to do is click inside the column anywhere and these tabs appears up, up here. Um, the cursor right here, the tab, is to set the text within the column, but you can adjust the column itself by clicking this little box here. You can make it wider, you can make the other one narrower, and that's how you do it. Now if you want your text to jump into another column, let's say you want this paragraph over here to start in that column, so what you do is you go to the end of your previous paragraph, put your cursor there, go to insert, select manual break, select column break, and click enter, and you see that your text has jumped over into the next column. Again, you select the end of your text, insert, manual break, column break, and enter. One last thing about column that's good to know is if you want to uh, put your column in before you start typing, uh, what you need to do is enter a couple spaces, back up at least one space, and then select an area, and this is where you're going to put your column, by going format, column, on three columns, a little bit of space in the middle, and OK, oh, before you need to make sure that you apply this to the selection, not to the entire page style. So make sure you select selection and go OK. And now I have three columns. I can put my text in the column, but I can also go above and put a title, center it, or put a paragraph below that's in one column. Have fun making columns!